further debate. The member from Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. I want to thank the member from Brantford Brant for bringing forward this resolution. As somebody who grew up on a farm and has spent most of my career promoting sustainable local food and farming sector in Ontario, I recognize how essential food security is to the vibrancy of our province and our quality of life. And we know that in order to succeed, we need a vibrant agri-food supply chain that supports profitable local farms and processors. The food and farming sector contributes almost $50 billion to Ontario's economy and generates over 780,000 jobs. And Speaker, the asset base of those jobs, of that wealth, of the food security that sustains life is the farmland that feeds us. Ontario has some of the best farmland in the world. 5% of our land mass is suitable for growing food, and half of 1% of that land is prime farmland, which is why I've dedicated so much of my time in this House fighting to protect Ontario's prime farmlands and the wealth and jobs it generates. And so I will be voting for this motion because I believe in food security and I believe in our agri-food system. But it is also why I encourage every member of this House who votes for this resolution to vote for policies that protect prime farmland in this province, to vote against policies like Highway 413 that will pave over 2,000 acres of farmland in this province and unleash sprawl on thousands of acres of additional farmland because we know that that is the asset base of our successful, profitable agri-food sector, and we have to protect it. Let's bring forward policies that expand business risk management. Let's make tax and regulatory changes to support local food and farmers. Let's work with the federal government to bring in a grocery code of conduct to protect consumers and farmers and suppliers. But at the end of the day, we will not have a successful farm sector if we don't have farmland to grow food, Speaker.